guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today, um, well last video I built that cool iron farm over there. Um, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to build a secret sound activated base. So to do this, um, you're going to be using the new item uh, for the 1.19 update, the skulk sensor. Right? So for this you're going to need um, some sticky pistons, some repeaters, some torches, Redstone torches, some redstone dust, and and some wool. You're gonna need wool. Very important wool. So to make this, you're basically gonna have it so that in a specific area, the skull sensor hears you, like it does, and then it activates a redstone sensor, causing the doors to open. So say that area is right over here right so he's gonna be right there all right you're gonna want to surround the skulk sensor in wool except for the top box so you can you can hide the space just all the way around just cover it in wool all right and then over here you're gonna want to put one in front of it and right there but keep these ones still regular blocks. So to do this, you're gonna have the skulk sensor. They're like that, so then this hole is open. You're gonna have that going into redstone, going into a repeater, actually. Let's just cut out the middleman. Just boom, right into that. So now, oh, new achievement unlocked, sneak 100. Sneaks near a skulk center or, or warden to prevent it from detecting you. Um, you're gonna have this going into a block. It can be any block, right? And then that's gonna go and that's gonna have a redstone torch. Right now, for this, for the building it, I suggest you cover the entire thing, basically. Because it's going to be really annoying when you're trying to work um, on, your, on your building. So, this is, say this is the area you want to be um, removed, right? So, you're going to have your sticky pistons um, a block lower than necessary. So then it's going to look like that until you activate it. And then you're going to have to clear out a large area for this build. It's going to be, this, this build's probably going to be one of the most annoying I do. Just, okay, wait a minute. I also have another thing that could help. Just block, just block it off completely. So that it can't hear you. Because it's really annoying when it, you just have to keep dealing with it. Okay. And I put them too close. There. Alright, so for this, you're going to want a four tick going into your your uh, your, your side pistons, as, as I've uh, said in every other piston related video. Um, but just don't, don't make the four tick go into the, try to avoid the four tick going into the, the middle pistons. Because then it just won't work as well. It, it won't work because then these will pull down at the same time the, side, the ones are pulling out to the side. And then um, they won't be pulled to the side. I've, I've learned this through many failed attempts at redstone. Also, you can clear out a little drop-down zone 
for when you do enter your ma little base. Also, you don't have to do this with a 4x4, four four. you could do it with a, with a I mean, uh, not 4x4, four four. you could it with a 2x2, two two is what, you don't have to do it with a 2x2, two two. you can do it with like a 1x2, one by, one by you know what I mean? Well, anyway, over here, same thing as the other side, two of these, four tech, going into them. I put them too low. I put them too low. <sighs> I thought I thought they were weirdly low. Why did I do that? Okay. There. Okay. So on this side you're gonna wanna have these blocks exposed. And then the top ones. There we go. There, this this should work. Okay, now those pistons are too close. Wait a minute. Oh. Okay. No, the, those pistons were too close. This is difficult. There we go. Now we just need a way to light up these um, middle four pistons. Right, and to do that, you're gonna wanna um, make that one the four tick. Keep that down until there. Oh god, There we go. Now that that should be good for these middle four. So you're gonna wanna you're gonna want some slabs for this part because well I mean it's gonna cut off the redstone signal otherwise. So you're gonna want a repeater going into into these two. You're going to basically want to make your own little redstone signal. Like this. Putting a block. See? And then you just kind of have to feed that to the other side. That same signal. Did I, am I back on a beach? No, just some underwater sand. Okay. Now it's gonna go over here, and now it's gonna be it's gonna go down from there. Okay, I think this is my last layer of sand before I go to the for hit water. So gotta be careful. And let's just add a repeater. And boom. So you, you're probably going to want to remember your little area. Right? But now.
Okay, now this is gonna keep repeating until you put two blocks of wool there. You're gonna wanna wool wool the place up. Okay, wait. I think I think I know the issue. Oh that would help. Okay, so you want you want Give me a second. Which side isn't wool? Okay. You're gonna wanna absolutely wool this place up. Except for... You don't want to go there. You don't want to go wool there. Oh, well... And then you can run over, and then just make this make this hole deep enough so that the the skulker can't hear or anything down there. Make it make it really deep. And that is how you make a two by two piston door activated by a skulker. Hope you guys enjoyed, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!